Hey Liz, this is Brett with Maui Music Lessons. Okay, today we're going to cover Tears of a Clown, the intro and verse progression, using a G chord, C chord, F chord, C chord. Now the strum pattern is pretty cool. We're going to hit our palm of our right hand and the pick at the same time into the lower strings, and then immediately follow that with an up, down, up. So it's Um, chord progression and strum progression. So for a second, I'm just gonna mute with my left hand so we can just work on the strumming. It's gonna be mute up, down, up, hit, up, down, up, hit, up, down, down. Just remember to keep it straight because if you start throwing a swing into it, it's gonna sound super country and cowboy, and we don't want that for now. Okay, so let's try it again. This time with our G, our C. Our F, our C. I'm gonna count you in one, two, three, four. Okay. But for the song itself, the chords are gonna change twice as fast. So it'll sound more like this. What's really cool about this is that initial muted down strum gives us a second to change chords while we're hitting that strum. So it'll look, I'll go in slow mo for a second and pay more attention to my left hand here. actually lift your whole left hand off while you do that first down strum. And I use that for that split second to transition. Okay? So that's a little trick for you. Other than that, just remember G, C, F, C, and have fun. Here's a point. Sweet. Oops. If it's blinking, is it recording? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it not recording that whole time? Or... It won't stop blinking. Oh, really? Oh, because this. Oh. 